Okay, so what you... This is a, a tutorial on how to basically install PISG. As you can see here, this is the, the PISG website. is PISG.SourceForge.net. You just click on the download link and click the file of your choice. Now, before even starting, if you have Windows, you should you have to download Act Div Perl first and download and from Active State and download and install that from the Active State that from the Active State website. Yeah. And then I've already downloaded it and extracted it over here. And first of all, you should read the documentation depending you should read the you should read so, at least some of the beginning document parts of the documentation just maybe just maybe setting up for the if you need a little help you can probably go to the setting up PISG for the first time part but this this uh tutorial should give you a basic uh understanding now the first thing you have to do ultimately one moment is open up PISG.CFG. You will see this sample configuration file. Uh, if you want to customize the user, you can refer to 2.2 in the documentation. But I will I will leave this commented out. Uh, now the set option is also explained in the documentation. And I just do I just set the maintain set the maintainer using this example and I'm just gonna put my name here OS 10 dude okay now I'm gonna put my channel name in in place of channel the channel log file users let's say it's home OS 10 dude dot xchat2 slash um xchat logs slash ace irc dot pound os 10 dude dot log and then you just change the format to your client name now there are some now on the format there are some exceptions for some clients if you go into the PISG directory and click on docs and then open the formats file you will see a you will see a basically notices on which clients kind of work and which clients don't work as for example xchat uh, X and because xchat changes log format you have to download a certain configuration file the pevents.com in this link right here which is right here docs formats in the PSG directory anyway put the network name as the network name easy enough and the output file is where you want it. so for example var www slash uh, ace ace stats slash index.html and then don't forget to take up these little pound signs here Uh, okay, now save it and quick text edit. Now you're basically all set. All you have to do is open up a terminal window, cd to the directory. Right now it is in my directory. Ah! Ah! Sorry. Spell it misspelling loads and then just run and on Windows you'll have to run and in Windows you have to run Perl dot dot PISG uh, and it basically runs and outputs. Now it gave me an error because the log does that certain log doesn't exist. But I'm gonna actually change it to a log that does exist. So let's say I'm gonna change it to a log that does exist, and just pay and just have it 
extract to the P to this directory here. Save. So all I have to do is run it. Nah, wrong log file. Silly me. All right, save. Now I just have to run it. And right now, it just created a log file. Now let's go take a look at that. It's right here. And this is it. Now you will have to set the GFX directory. Now you see this GFX directory? You see how there, there's supposed to be graph graphs here, and I'll show you why. You have to set here GFX. You have to set a certain option which is going which is specified in the PISG uh, and I don't know what it is, so I'm going to have to quickly find it. Uh um darn it. And it's called GFX. Oh goodness. Ah, here it is. Pick set. This is basically the option you need right here. And then you just have to paste that into your and make sure then to move this directory to your to the directory the in the stats file is. And then basically right now I just have to refresh. I have to regenerate. and refresh and it doesn't work oh well I don't feel like showing you an example right now I'm not gonna have to mess with that it may and this is it right here this is all the stats it's gen now let's say you wanted to upload to an FTP server if it's not locally hosted you'll need to make a shell script or bat file on Windows. That I cannot tell you how to do right now because of limited time. Uh, but on Windows I can. If you go under the scripts directory and find Windows FTP upload, you'll be able to. F you'll actually be able to find instructions on how to do this for Windows. Now on Unix, you you might you might need a little bit more help. So if you, I'll make, I'll probably have to make another video on how to do that. So yeah. <laughs> and that's how to configure PISG. Um, please comment on this video if you couldn't read anything. <laughs> make sure you you have clicked on the high quality version. If you can't, if you can't read anything, because there should be a high quality version available of this video because it is made for YouTube. And uh, this I will get fixed soon. <laughs> so uh, if if you can't seem to get it fixed, just uh, let me know. I gotta save it first of all. Uh, there we go. There we go. Now we see all the graphs. There we go. Coolio. Okay, well, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Please, once again, comment or change to high quality. <laughs>